What's up guys, this is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about a brand by the name Banka which mainly focuses on natural materials. Not that all the blends that they have are completely natural but they definitely use natural materials plus mix off some synthetic aroma chemicals to give it that overall texture to the blend. But they definitely focus more on traditional type of athas which use a lot of natural materials. Something which reminds you of Kanoj, which is the perfume city of India. So in case you haven't heard about this brand yet, let me quickly show you some of their presentation because they have different types of presentation for different categories of blends that they have. Okay, so some of them look like this, which is in white. They also have similar packaging, which is in cream color. I don't know if you can see the difference in my camera. Yes, I think it is quite evident. So this one is white, this is cream. They also have something in green as well, which also looks very beautiful. And this is for Kuss. Okay, this is how their presentation looks. This is their branding, which is Banka. And the name of the fragrance or the other, you get it here. They have this design here, some other ingredient details here. And then the pricing is mentioned here. Okay, the base is pretty plain. And this is where the bottle sits. Okay, just like any other other that comes. So in case you are interested in looking at the bottle design, this is how the bottle design comes and you see the branding here as well. So that's about the presentation of one type of others. They also have another presentation which is a very hard wooden sort of box and you have this lock here and this is where the bottle sits. A similar 6ml presentation. And the interesting part is they have a very cute presentation for 1ml and 2ml which looks like this. Okay, so this is something that I was really fascinated looking at this because I have never seen 1ml, 2ml options in such cute, beautiful bottles. Okay, I don't know if you find this cute. Some people may not like this. But since it is a 1ml, I really love this presentation because I have not seen such beautiful presentation for 1ml. Of course, this is a dipstick. But this kind of cap for 1ml with a nice labeling is something that usually is not provided because usually 1ml comes in the typical VL which looks pretty simple and plain but this was really impressive. So these are the three different types of presentation that they have. So there are 17 different authors in total. Not that all 17 are my favorites but like I always say different people have different taste. So I'll still speak about the 17 but before I go into my favorites I'll start with Four of them which are not my type but I still want to address you guys so that you understand what type of blend they are and if you are interested and if you think that it's your type of fragrance you can still definitely try them. So it's not necessary that something that I don't like you also wouldn't like. It is very much possible that something that I don't like could be your favorite and something that you love need not be my favorite. So it's a universal fact guys. Everybody have different tastes. We need to respect that if somebody loves something and you don't like it, that doesn't mean that the person who loves something is lying about it. So I'll first start with four of them which are not my favorite but I still talk about them because it's very much possible that you might love them. Okay. At number one is Banka Rose. Okay. This is not my favorite, not my type either because this opens up with a very strong jammy rose. Very strong jammy rose. And that's something which I don't personally enjoy wearing. But let me tell you, this kind of aroma very much suits a room freshener. So according to my suggestion, I would say that you can still use it in a Bahur burner where you can use few drops and then it diffuses and gives a very nice aroma to your house or your bedroom, however you like it. This is what I do with such fragrance because this is very jammy rose, very strong. I wouldn't prefer applying it on myself, but the aroma in the air is fantastic. So you can definitely try it as a room freshener in case you are interested. But if you personally enjoy wearing it on yourself, jammy, strong rose, potent, then you can still try it if that's your taste. So second one is Kesari Mohallat. Okay. This is also not my type because it opens up with a very strong saffron, a bit of rose, sandalwood and amber. Now this is a typical blend that you very commonly find. And this is very strong in the opening. Again, something that buzzes my brain. If you remember my video on Paris Corner, pure saffron, I can very much relate this to that one. That one is also something which I said is a beast mode. This is also a beast mode. Now, 
this kind of synthetic saffron is not something I actually enjoy. So that's the reason I said this is not my type. But again, there are people who love pure saffron by Paris Corner. So I think if you have that kind of taste, you can still try this one. That is Kesari Mukhallat. Okay. This costs around 800 for a 6 ml and the first one Banka Rose costs around 600 for a 6 ml. Now coming to the third one that is Manmat Mol Siri. Okay, this is where the bottle sits and Mol Siri is actually a tree called as Spanish cherry by some people. So it is used in natural others in Kanoja as well. So Mol Siri is something that you can find a lot in perfume making especially in Kanoja and of course in other cities as well. So it's a tree which has white florals growing and that white floral is called as Bakula. It's the name of a flower and they use that as well for processing these natural oils. So it kind of smells like white floral but more of dry woody smell. So if you like something like that, you will definitely enjoy this one. The reason I'm placing it in the not my type category because this is plainly that Mol Siri extracted oil. I generally like Mol Siri when it is blended with other notes. But this one is plain. So in case you like something of that sort, that Bakula floral with some dry woody touch, then you will definitely enjoy this one. This one costs around 9.99 for 6 ml. It is a bit expensive, but it is definitely smelling natural with that nice white floral touch and some dry woodiness. The fourth one is Manmat Rajnigandha. Okay, this is how the bottle looks. And this is also not my type. This also costs around 9.99 for a 6 ml. This is tuberous dominant and it smells more like a mahendi along with a touch of jasmine. I'm talking about the scent profile of how tuberous smells. Mahendi plus jasmine is what the feel you get from tuberose. So not my favorite but people who love tuberose or Rajnigandha will definitely like this one. So you can still try it if that's your taste. Now coming to the next category which is, I have two from the next category which is the interesting category. Again the interesting category is not something that I would personally enjoy wearing but the blend is definitely interesting. So I want you to listen to what they are. So at number one from the interesting category is Spirit of Kanoj. This also costs around 9.99 for a 6 ml. It has a very nice blend of saffron, white florals and the Jannatul Firdos sort of herbal and supported by a very nice sandalwood base. Okay, saffron, white floral, Jannatul Firdos sort of herbal and a nice support of sandalwood base. This definitely smells interesting, something that you don't really see in common but I wouldn't really call this as completely unique. But it is definitely interesting, okay, very interesting. It has a bit of rose also I believe. But it's not a rose dominant blend, but it is definitely interesting. Very nicely done. If you like natural material, you should be trying this one. Has a very nice projection of 3 to 4 hours and easily lasts 10 to 10 hours on my skin. Okay, spirit of Kanoji if you are interested in trying. The other interesting one is Hukum. This also costs 9.99 for a 6 ml. This is also interesting. This smells kind of Shamama, but it is a Kas dominant Shamama to put it in simple. If you like Shamama, which is a blend of lot many natural materials, spices, woods, bit of florals, and if it is dominated by Kas, which is vetiver, then this is what you try. That is named as Hukum by Banka. Very interesting one. It has that smell of Mitti, which is the wet soil. It also has other dry woods and florals, which is used in Shamama. Then you also get saffron, some woody and patchouli in the base. Very nicely blended, very interesting one. Performance is also pretty decent. Two hours of projection and eight hours of lasting. This is a Kas dominant Shamama in my own terms. Okay, Kas dominant Shamama that is named as Hukum. Okay, now coming to the 11 from my personal picks from the total 17. So till now I spoke about not my type, which were four and then two from the interesting category. And now I'll talk about the 11, which I would personally recommend. The first one would be from this cute little one ml bottle and that is Manmat Jasmine. This is nothing but pure Jasmine oil. Okay, smells a bit feminine, no doubt, because Jasmine is generally related to women. But if you like natural smelling jasmine, you can definitely try this one. Has a very nice projection for two hours. Then it mellows down because it's a natural material and you can expect about six hours on your skin because that's what I got. But obviously it differs person to person. But this is only for those who like natural smell of jasmine. At number 10 is Manmat Motia. 
This is similar to this one, but this is jasmine sambac. This is the plain jasmine, okay? There is a slight difference in the smell, but I personally prefer this one because this has more of that dark ambery sort of jasmine, more on the darker side of jasmine, and I personally prefer this one, okay? This got me into a nostalgic situation because it reminded me exactly of those marriage halls when you enter, especially in South India. I don't know if North India has similar tradition of hanging all the jasmine flowers in the marriage halls. So the moment you enter such marriage halls, you get a great aroma of these jasmine florals. And this smells exactly like that. Jasmine sambac is a little more darker than the plain jasmine but it is also supported by a sandalwood base. Okay, now this is a little expensive. The 6 ml costs around 1800 and in case I have missed to mention the price, the 1 ml costs around 340. You'll also get 1 ml option from them as well. So in case you're interested in trying, based on my taste, Jasmine Sambak, you can definitely try Manmat Motia is what they have named. At number nine is Manmat Gulab. Okay, again a 1 ml, this costs around 300. This is also plain rose supported by sandalwood. In case you like natural smelling rose, this is something that you can try. That is Manmat Gulab. Don't expect any heavy lasting like how synthetic rose comes. This will give you one and a half to two hours of decent projection and six to seven hours of lasting. At number eight is Teif Rose, which is a very different take on the rose material. Not sure if it is natural Teif Rose because I don't think you would get Teif Rose for such cheap price. This only costs around 400 for a 6 ml, but it is a very different take on rose. The rose here is not very dominant. It's slightly on the darker spicy sort of rose, not the jammy rose which I mentioned in the other two which I covered. This also is supported by a nice sandalwood base. Performance is decent, 2 hours of projection, 6 to 7 hours of lasting. At number 7 is Shamamatul Ambar, which is a very common blend in the traditional Atas. You would have heard this name a lot of times. This costs around 1000 for a 6 ml. Now Shamamatul Ambar is nothing but Shamama added with Ambar. Now Shamama is blended with a lot many materials like saffron, cardamom, some bit of florals, there is vetiver, dry woods. All these things blended together is how Shamama is made and they have also used Ambar as a base along with sandalwood. Okay, this costs around 1000 for a 6 ml, definitely good if you like Shamama with the support of Ambar and sandal, you can still try this very nicely blended. At number 6, Cambodi Bliss. 1 ml costs around 585, a little expensive and this is only for those who like skanky animalic leathery oud. Okay, this is definitely skanky the moment you smell it, oof, and I love it guys. I did not even open the dipstick and I can still smell it from here. Oof, <laughs> that is too skanky. So do not apply this and go to office you will be thrown out especially if you're from india because this kind of skanky animalic oud is definitely not appreciated unless they are into advanced perfume uses then it's a different story but i don't think anybody in office would use in india something that is skanky and animalic this definitely has that character and i'm somebody who love wearing such things i generally use most of the natural oud only when i'm alone or just before i sleep just to get that nice relaxation okay now this oud is supported by a nice white musk similar to musk rajali by ajmal similar to that and it is also supported by amber okay so this is not completely or plain oud this is blended with musk and amber as well the projection in the first star is very loud overall projects about two and a half hours and it lasts nine to ten hours so don't try this when you are around people who hate oud, but it is definitely on the nicer side of oud if you are somebody who likes skanky animalic leathery sort of oud. At number 5 is Manmat Shamama. Okay, this 1 ml costs around 335. There is something interesting about this Manmat Shamama because generally I don't get any animalic feel from Shamama, but this one has some sort of animalic feel, but that is only for first five to ten minutes and then it vanishes off then comes into that typical shamama sort of cardamom spices dry woods some bit of florals vetiver all those things but the opening has some bit of that animalic vibe just for five to ten minutes and that was a bit interesting because every brand makes shamama with different ratios of each material so this is something interesting if you like that five ten minutes of that animalic oud feel though i don't think there is oud in it because 
If there was wood, that would have stayed in the base and reacted for a longer time. But I don't see that. That animalic feel is just for the first 5 to 10 minutes. And that's probably because they have used a lot of dry woods, which is fermented and sort of like that. And with some roots of some trees. So a very interesting take on Shamama, that is Manmat Shamama by Banka. Performance is also pretty decent. Two hours of projection, eight hours of lasting. At number four is Manmat Zafran. Okay. This costs 2000 for a 6 ml. And that's for the obvious reason because they have used natural saffron here. This doesn't have anything of that sharp, pricky saffron which I spoke about in the not my type category. This is very natural, very smooth, creamy, supported by a sandalwood base. 2000 for a 6 ml might look expensive but if you are interested in natural smelling materials then this is definitely your choice okay very nicely done don't care about projection and lasting when you try natural materials because natural materials are something for your inner self for your relaxation so wear it only for that purpose i'll still tell you i was getting like one and a half hour of projection and decent six to seven hours of lasting at number three is Manmat Mithi, okay. This 1 ml costs around 300 and Mithi is something that you would have commonly heard in most Indian based brands. And just like the name says, it opens up with that nice feel of wet mud. The smell of that first strain that you call. So it definitely has that interpretation. I don't really know how exactly they make it, but I believe they use a lot of dry wood, some roots of some particular trees to give it that smell it definitely has that smell of wet rain for the first 10 to 15 minutes and then it evolves and changes into herbal dry wood saffron sandalwood sort of a smell very nicely done that first 10 minutes of wet rain vanishes and then evolves into the other part of the blend now don't care about performance here it gives one and a half hour of decent projection and lasts about five to six hours you cannot expect more but this is where you feel the beauty of nature okay so that is manmat mitti at number two is Manmat Khas. I really loved wearing this one because this is made of the grass of vetiver and it is very thick. And the best part is vetiver from different regions and different distillation process gives a slightly different profile. Some smell very dry and woody and has that tricky character. Some smell very green and smooth. Some gives a mix of both. Now this one is definitely very thick. Okay, very, very thick. Did you see that dripping? It is definitely very thick. The best part about this, just from my personal taste, is after two hours, it definitely opens up with that nice, thick, green, grassy, earthy, sort of feel a bit woody as well. But as and when it dries down, let's say for about two hours of dry down, this changes into that nice, mild sweetness of a floral vibe. That also is one character of Kas, guys. And this is the best part of Kas that I personally enjoy. I don't get that feel from all the Kas, but this one definitely had that. After two hours, it gives that mild sweetness of a jasmine floral, which you get in the dry down of jasmine Athos. Now, obviously, I don't think they use jasmine, but I have experienced this in Kas a few times because my brother is a huge fan of Kas. So the Kas that he uses gives me the same feel in the dry down. It gives that light sweetness of jasmine floral dry down and this cuss had that and then that is what I enjoy in cuss. Some cuss don't have that and some people enjoy the other part of cuss which is a dry woody earthy sort of feel but I personally enjoy this sort of cuss. This one costs around 1000 for a 6 ml which I think it's pretty decent for a natural material. Coming to the last one this is my most favorite of all and that is called her singer okay this is again 1 ml costs around 250 for a 1 ml but this is my most favorite because i have never smelled a natural material of this particular flower okay her singer is nothing but the night blooming jasmine they also call it as rat kirani they also call it as the night queen flower some people also call it as harijat flower so there are different names used Ratkirani is what is commonly known in North India. In English, they call it as night blooming jasmine, which I believe you would have at least experienced it. Unless you're not somebody who doesn't care about aroma, then you wouldn't have paid attention. But there is a tree where the flower only blooms at night. The fragrance of that particular flower can spread for about 8 to 10 feet away. 
okay sometimes even beyond that if it is slightly breezy this is exact smell of that flower probably they have extracted it from the same flower i do not know the processing method of that flower but it definitely smells great guy and i really enjoyed smelling this one because i personally enjoyed that smell of that flower because it has that nostalgic effect to me because my granny's house had that tree and i used to get that aroma at night whenever i pass by that tree and there was one incident when i was working in chennai for about 2 weeks just for my work purpose i had traveled there and within that campus there was this tree where me and my friend was just walking by after dinner and i could smell this from about 8 feet like 10 feet away and i was like searching for that tree as to where it is i asked my friend can you smell that flower he said yeah now that i have told i am able to smell it and i could not see that tree anywhere and then when i took a turn i could find it and it was almost 8 to 10 feet away guys that is the beauty of that night blooming jasmine flower it just spreads the aroma all around and you need to be somebody who enjoy the smell of that flower and only then you will enjoy this one i absolutely love this one and that's why i'm placing it at number 1 that is her singer from banka this is cheap as well not that expensive you can definitely try the 1 ml if you are not interested in blind buying a full bottle but according to my taste i personally love this one and this is the first time i tried the natural smelling extract of this flower i have tried the synthetic blend of night blooming jasmine which i did not enjoy at all but this one is a beauty right here this is also supported by a very nice sandalwood base the performance is also pretty decent you get nice 2 hours of airy beautiful projection very beautiful aroma and then it lasts about 7 hours on my skin now lasting can be different person to person but i got 7 hours on my skin so that's about it let me know in case you have tried any of these comment down in the comment section i'll give you all the purchase option in the video description box you can check it out in case you are interested in buying so see you next time soon cheers